Let us now look at individual bars, to check the price action and understand the mood of the participants in the markets. The range of the bar, is the difference between the high price and the low price. Look at this chart here. This chart is typical of most price charts that we see in the markets. Particular attention needs to be paid to the days, when there are big ranges of price movement in a time period. In addition to the range, pay attention to the closing price on such big range bars. We have seen earlier in the first video, that a price bar that opens low and closes at the high immediately tells us, that the buyers were active during that period. Similarly, a high range price bar that closes towards the lows, warns us that sellers were in control of the markets. Always presume that a trend will continue forever, until it is proven reversed. In addition, we also noted that in a simple uptrend, the price makes higher lows on consecutive bars, and in a simple downtrend they make lower highs on consecutive bars. So by corollary, when prices are closing towards the top 20% of a bullish bar, or the bottom 20% of a bearish bar, it is prudent to assume that this trend will continue on the next bar, unless the high or low is taken out. Most buy today sell tomorrow, or sell today buy tomorrow trades can be easily identified with this simple system. When a high range bar is closing towards the top 20% of the range of that period, it is a simple trade to buy near the close of that bar and wait for prices to rally on the next bar. Similarly, when a high range bar is closing towards the low of that bar, it is prudent to sell, in expectation of the trend to continue into the next bar. The same logic of the trend continuing, can be applied when a stock makes a new high or a low. Every bull market has only one day where it will post the final high. But in its run up to that high, there will be several days that will continue to make newer highs. A mistake most traders make is to assume that since the stock has made a new high, it is likely to reverse and keep assuming a high is in place. In a bull market a stock keeps making a new high every day. Thus with this simple understanding that trends can continue for a very very long time, we can keep eyeing whenever a stock makes a new high. The same logic can be used, when stocks start making new lows too. Here it is also prudent to note, the 52 week high or low and use that to gauge the trend and direction of a stock. In the next video, we will look at pullbacks and see how to use pullbacks for better and more profitable trades.